you are with sin, then how would you say? Do you think still you are with sin? How would you say? Please tell me. Yes or not? Everybody say yes. Then other person may suggest another question. Then what about if you are still <clears throat> with the sin, still sin exists in your heart, then what about the power of forgiveness of cross? If the power of blood on the cross is perfect, then how can sin still exist in your heart? If the perfect the forgiveness of the power is perfect, it's perfect, right? Once and for all, the blood washed away all the sins. Then still you say, I am still with my sin. That means maybe you do not believe the perfect power of blood. So confused, right? It really happened, these questions to my second son, Samuel the other week while he was uh, doing his arbeit, he met the one young guy who cast this question. Especially Joseph, uh, Samuel was uh, very happy because uh, while he was joining, the, whenever he joined, joined uh, the Bible camp, he realized big things one by one. And then he's excited to share what he uh, has been blessed by the Lord with the parent. So we have a long talk through the phone, and then this time also joyfully he called me, and then, Mom, listen to me. I was so blessed by this uh, uh, Bible camp, especially I was challenged about mission, something like that. So wow, wonderful. Then after, after that, he met this young guy, and then and this young guy cast this question to Samuel. Do you think still you are with the sin, and Samuel obviously say yes. Then what about? That means the power of blood for the forgiveness is not perfect. At that moment, Samuel told me, Mommy, I was like, uh, I was uh, really shocked with that word because deepest in my heart, there is something which is not certain for me. And then when they, when this guy casts a second question, then what about this uh, blood is not perfect? Then Samuel believed the blood of Jesus on the cross is perfect for the forgiveness. Then why still Samuel is struggling with this sin? Then this young guy said, I have a wonderful role model who is pastor, so let's go to him. So Samuel was invited. And then he went and met the Korean pastor. And then pastor said so many things about the assurance of salvation by the blood of Jesus. Showing so many other verses from Romans, from Gal and Galatians, and from Hebrews. So, boy, please go back to your place and then read the verses. And then Samuel was so joyful, and then when he read those verses, oh, these verses were different, something like that. But while I was hearing, I felt something, something strange. So Samuel, this is a teaching of Orthodox, according to the Bible. So compare what the pastor said and what mommy said is exactly the same. And then at the time, Joseph was uh, occupied by joy. And then when I said something, 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 oh, mom, what you said is exactly the same. So if we are right, maybe so right. So, but I wonder how the pastor who runs such a big church still can find time to uh, explain that gospel to you who is strange. Because usually if you are the senior pastor of a big church, you must be very busy, even difficult to you know, spend time with your own member. So anyway, but after time passes, it was found that it is the you know, approaching of cult. cult. In Korea nowadays, just like I mentioned before, it is very strange while we are in difficult situation, while 
we have uh, a lot of problems, especially financial problems. We are more humble, we are more looking for God, just like we did, you know, early church of Korean church history. But as you know, even though nowadays the economic situation is getting bad, but anyway, generally speaking, Korea is not a rich country. And then the power or, or, or influence of the Korean church is getting weaker and weaker in Korean society, even though we send a lot of you know, missionaries to so many world, so many nations. So while the church, the influence of the church is uh, weakening, so many different kinds of cult is really encouraged, increase. So we call this uh, a sect, uh, salvation sect, if we interpret. But they do not uh, introduce themselves. It is uh, also the church call them. They introduce themselves generally, we are the evangelical Baptist church. And then they are increasing now. And also they run, even YouTube you can access, like a Good News TV. And then what is their problem? Actually, explaining about assurance of salvation is wonderful. Much better than also the church. Because uh, many people who go to the you know, go to church regularly, many of them do not have assurance of salvation. So Samuel, when he heard the explanation from the pastor, Samuel said, yeah, before he realized this is cult, oh, mom, there is something uncertain within my heart, but when I heard the pastor's explanation, wow, I thought I got the solution, something like that. So Samuel, until that moment, is right. Yes, Jesus died once and for all, and then his power is perfect enough to get rid of all sins once and for all. But you must understand, the point is, I mean, the cleansing, the holiness is not on us. Even though we are still same sinner, but just by his grace, he count us, he justify us as a righteous person. It doesn't mean we became really righteous person. Still we are sinner. But they said, later on, Samuel said, after I realized something, mom, they said this one, that one. For example, they said, Jesus died and they shed the blood and then he washed away perfectly our sin. That's why you don't need to repent again. Your soul definitely saved through this realization. So the methodology of salvation for them is realization. What do you realize? Ah, Jesus died on the cross, shed the blood, and then those who believe what Jesus has done, and then because of the blood, my, my sin has been washed away once and for all. No more sin at all. My soul is saved. But there is a flesh which is with sin. But my, because my soul is saved by his blood, if they, uh, their teaching is deeper and deeper, they teach whatever you do, it is not sin. In this much, the power of Jesus is perfect. That's why so many Christians who are looking for the truth in this church, in that church, or this cult, that cult, they are satisfied by that explanation through reason, through logic. And then, wow, how much I'm thankful for them. Because finally, I settled down my faith here in this church. And then I emphasize that you must remember when exactly the time of your spiritual born again. It is very, very important. If you, do not, if you cannot remember when you are born again, then your salvation it was not clear. So now in this church, remember, you must have exact time for you to be born again. Is it true? We don't need repentance again. We are not sinners. We must remember when I am up, born again. <laughs> Now I emphasize the wrong teaching, but if you, we hear and then have conversation with them, very difficult to discern because generally 
you know, generally speaking, the other cult of Christians emphasize the importance of work. You have to do good things for your salvation. This is a controversial issue for 2000, you know, over the last 2,000 years, even now. There are deep, only they change the name. And then we, Orthodox gospel doesn't emphasize the importance of work. We emphasize the work. But what about? We are saved by faith only. That's why no more work. <laughs> but especially James said, if there is no work, your faith is dead. So some people misunderstand uh, what Paul's teaching, what Paul teach, what uh, James teaches is contradictory. Because Paul emphasized the importance of faith, right? But James <coughs> emphasized the importance of work. But they say the same thing in different way, like two sides of coin. Because you and I are terribly corruptible. We are the enemy of God. There is no other way, even though we do good things with all our heart and mind, it is not enough the standard of God. If God call us, save us, call us to, to be his child or to be his people, we must be like Jesus Christ. And then no one. But, I mean, that's why they, as you know, Jesus died. Jesus came in the flesh and died for us. And then by faith, we are reckoned, we are counted, we receive the right to become his children. But it doesn't mean our sinful nature disappeared. Still, we are struggling. Those who watched yesterday movie, right? Pilgrim's Progress. His life is full of misery. <laughs> totally different from prosperity theology. If you believe in Jesus, you're going to be healed, you're going to be rich, your children will be successful. Where is that? You know? Christian's life is full of difficulties and hardship. And then, for example, like Paul, if you read the Apostle Paul's epistle, the more his uh, faith grows, the more the description about himself becomes severe. And then, you know, finally, the la what is the last book of Paul? <clears throat> the Timothy. Timothy. When his death is near, He's going to be murdered. And then Paul said, Jesus came into the world to save, to save sinners of whom I am the worst. I am the leader of sinners. It is the confession when Paul confessed right before his mother, which means his the more his faith grows, the more he realizes how much he's, he's terrible, wretched man. And also, the chapter 7 of Romans, he said, right? I do what I don't, do not want to do. I do not do what I do. This is struggling after he became Christian. And then this group, so-called salvation uh, sect, or uh, this uh, evangelical Baptist church, which is not real Baptist, uh, also the church is said, it is past sense. It is not post confession after he became Christian. All those things. So they have di different you know, interpretation. And then actually this sect was Korea, uh, Korea originated cult. This cult was uh, started by so-called Korean pastor whose name is Kwon uh, Shin-chan. He was a uh, uh, Presbyterian pastor. And then his uh, son-in-law is Yu byung won who is the owner of Sewol Ferry. Have you heard of that? A few, few years ago, ferry, Sewol Ferry it, disaster shaking the territory. Because of that, even this current regime was able to took the power, right? in this match. And then also the result, in result, that the president, the previous uh, President Park was impeached. The owner of the ferry, you know, the Sewol ferry. Why the, the huge ship sink down? It was very old. And then even though it big ship, they up, overrode so many, you know, things. And then also chilled the students. At the time, the students were exactly the same age with Samuel. Samuel 
was uh, avoid that ship slightly just uh, between two to three weeks difference. So our heart was also <gasps> shocked if Samuel, you know, because at the time the Samuel's age students in high school, uh, usually they went to Jeju Island for their trip. And then Samuel was two to three weeks ago. Because of their understanding, of course, inside also there are deep disagreement. This uh, cult said, no, no, Yu Byung-yeon, we already set apart from him, something like that. But anyway, generally speaking, their basic doctrine is the same. Like, they don't need morality. Why? Because their soul is already saved by Jesus, by the blood. So no more, you don't need to repent. And then they attacked the Orthodox Christians. You said you are saved, but always you say you are a sinner, you always repent, you always powerless. What about? That means you do not have assurance of your salvation. You do not believe the perfect power of Jesus' blood. How would you say that? So, until the emphasis of the assurance of salvation, in some sense, they are better than also the church. Because in Korea, so many church members, it is true, do not have assurance of salvation. Not only Filipinos. I involved the Filipino ministry, Filipino you know, ministry, not only in the, in the Philippines for three years, but also in Korea, you know, since 2001. This is, it was my always the first question yeah, to anybody met Filipinos, whose background is 90% is you know, Catholic system. If you die tonight, are you sure you're going to enter the kingdom of heaven? Do you know what is their answer usually? No. Because according to the Catholicism, the salvation comes from not only by faith, but also work. Work and faith, work and faith. Other worldly religions, like a Hindu, Muslim, or other religions, or even other Christian cults, emphasize work. If you want to be saved, you have to do good work. But like a Catholicism, for your salvation, not only by faith, but also work. But what about the Bible? We want to do good work, not because for our salvation, but because we want to respond our thanks to the grace of God, to Heavenly Father, willingly. That's why work is important. And then if we commit sin, yes, Christians, children of God can commit sin, but cannot be habitual. In this way, we can have some criteria. If somebody proclaim, whoever, lay people or ministers, I am a Christian. But if you look at his life, okay, then there is a habitual sense. <coughs> that means we can carefully guess he didn't see Jesus as his personal savior. This group sounds like, you know, special knowledge. It sounds like Gnosticism, is it? The first cult in early church, Gnosticism. We have a special knowledge. And then if only if you have a special knowledge, then you can be saved. <laughs> Jesus is came only through what? Spirit, not in flesh. If you insist that Jesus, you look at Jesus uh, face by face in flesh, then it is illusion, not real. It's only spirit, sounds. So some experts said this cult if you dig deep down about this cult theory, then they influenced a lot by Gnosticism. So the word, they use so preciously the word of God, the Bible. And then this cult is very difficult because they insist justification by faith. That's why we have to be get very careful. If you convert, uh, communicate with somebody on the street or in, you know, in any place, if they say, ah, oh, yeah, I am justified by faith, then you may believe them. But be careful. Justification by faith, they insist, but no need a holy life. No struggle, no need to struggle to be holy. So we have to be very careful. Those who teach or preach the doctrine only emphasize the, the blood of Jesus, but afterward, you know, the holy life, then 
it is very dangerous. Why Bible describes it as a ship? Sometimes I describe before, right? A ship is so lovely but very foolish in this sense. If one ship, all community ship goes go forward, then the one ship fall down to the deep, then next to ship doesn't have any wisdom. Ah my my uh the former one fall down into the ship, then I have to go around. No, he fall down three, fall down four, fall down every ship fall down. They do not learn. And also, if they fall down and the four leg is in the air, they, they don't have power to stand up correctly by about that, their power. They just uh, cry, meh, meh. If before shepherd heard, if the you know, wolf or other wild animal heard, the sheep became the victim of the wild animal. So spiritual world is very complicated. We have to wake up and then, you know, this from Kwon uh, Shin-chan and then his uh, son-in-law Yu byung un caused a lot of social problems, that's why. Yeah? Not all, but many of them, leaders, cause a lot of social problems. Why? Because moral? No more. Why? Because my spirit is already in the book of life. They, they use all the same religious word with us. That's why the rest of my life, doesn't matter. I'm so blessed. So if you truly believe, then you must be joyful. Why? Because the rest of your life, you don't need to struggle with your sin anymore. Because Jesus took away all the sins once for all. Wow, how much we are blessed. Wow, let's praise our God. Something like that. So this kind of contradictory, some people uh, felt that this is wrong. So inside of them, three different uh, branches came out of them. One is Yi Changbum, Yi Bokji, third one is Bagoksu. This Bagoksu group is increasing a lot. While ago I asked to show the Bagoksu face to Pastor Indriyas because he has close relationship with high officials including president of so many <coughs> African nations. You knew? Well, now you came back. Yeah. And then Last uh, 2018, we have also the last night, the uh, New Year worship right here. And then we celebrate, oh Lord, we give thanks so much for the New Year, something like that. In that event in Uganda, 100,000 Christians gathered together. You know who is the main speaker? This Bagos. And then all those Uganda Christians who are pure, who are, you know, innocent, and then who love God so much. Whenever he preached, his preaching is more powerful than other pastors because he emphasized how much the blood of Jesus is powerful, perfect. Many people respond, hallelujah, amen. <laughs> but just sounds like good. If after that, the story goes differently from the Bible. So of course we have to share the gospel. Frankly speaking, I am the pastor of Blend Trap, the, the ingredients, because uh, I also experience a lot of joys and overjoy when lost soul come back to the Lord through my preaching, through my sharing in Korea, outside of Korea. Wow, the joy, only those who experience the joy can understand, right? Because this joy directly came from the Holy Spirit. When one soul come back to the Lord, in the, in, in the heaven, feast is open. God and all the angels praise, praise the blood of Jesus. Wow, this lost one soul who was supposed to go to hell come back to God and became the child of God. He recovered the image of God, which he lost because of sin. And then the joy shared to the person, the preacher, to the evangelist. But we have to be very careful about the doctrine. And then you know these bagos according to because of my son, I study a little bit. And then according to the experts about this, the, those uh, you know, cult in Korea, his uh, learning, his schooling is stopped only elementary degree five. No theology at all. No theological you know, training at all. But his, uh, he has uh, enough power to persuade others, not only in Korea, but also so many countries. And they, of course, they emphasize uh, 
uh, tithe or offering money, that's why there. This kind of cult are very wise enough to collect a lot of money, right? That's why using this money, so-called they, you know, expand their mission field. And then many innocent Africa or Asia leaders are deceived. Because when, even you, if you meet this guy or the followers of this guy, no problem at all. You are challenged by them. How much they are con convicted, assurance, they have assurance of a salvation through the blood of Jesus. Wow, they are better than me. But our salvation doesn't come from our realization of reason. Our salvation is a happen, not only reason. Of course, reason, knowledge, learning is very important, but it has to go down to the, our heart. And then when the knowledge became exist in our heart, then we have new desire to be like Jesus Christ. We have new desire to hate the sin. We have uh, some sense to have a fellowship sense, you see. So here, this is the message we have heard from him and declared to you. God is light in him. There is no darkness at all. Darkness at all, no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. But they interpret sin is not sin. The concept of sin is different from us. No more sin. Because Jesus solved all the simple problems and no more. But still we are sinner, right? Still we are with sin because only our status has been changed. But still within us, the simple age operate always. So we have to struggle. And then this is difficult, difficult. So those Christians, real Christians, who have personal relationship with Christ can commit sin. But if this sin became habitual, he, it is impossible. If we really experience his grace, his love, we cannot commit sin continually, habitually. But there are so many people are included in the church and then speak the same word with us. That's why it's very difficult to discern, not only cult, not to mention the cult. The tree acknowledged by what? The fruit. This cult, this uh, salvation, Sect called also emphasized the <laughs> fruit of the salvation, but different concept. So they interpret, they use same Bible, but they interpret different way. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. You know, Jesus purifies us from all sin. Then we don't, we cannot have sin. But next verse said, if we proclaim to be without sin, yeah, we deceive ourselves. But they said, we are no more, we have, we have no more sin. But here, if we cro proclaim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all sin unrighteousness. They said, oh, this is all about before you became Christian. But you know, epistles were written for Christians. That's why even for spiritual law called, you know, oh, Jesus knocked the door of the unbeliever. So if unbeliever open this door, open his heart, then Jesus will enter and then you're going to be saved. The meaning is all right. The picture is helpful. But actually, the Revelation 3.20 is for Christians. Jesus knocked the door of believers. That's why we have to be very careful to use the Bible, to interpret the Bible. See? This is, John is speaking to the Christians. So even though we became children of God, still we can commit sin. But no problem. Because if we confess our sin, then he will purify, purify our us from all sin, then it can be repeated, repeated, repeated. So once we repent for our salvation, but this soul repentance will be continued. But they said, no need to come, you know, uh, repentance. No need prayer. Yesterday, do you remember, when the followers of Satan followed the Christian, 
He knocked the door. It means the prayer. He prayed. And then the door was open. And an angel of God, you know, killed all the followers of Satan. And then he was able to go forward for his journey. No need prayer. A satanic voice. We have to pray. Those Christians who do not pray eagerly, really they do not understand what is going on in our salvation, in our world, spiritual world. They do not understand. That's why they do not pray, even though they, their prayer is not, you know, eager, eagerly done. It is spiritual war. That's why yesterday, if we have a time, we wanted to watch more war room, which means prayer room. Without prayer room, we easily, easily deceived, not only by this kind of fault, but also by so many things. We are deceived. What is the characteristic of Satan? He's a liar. You continually continue work, work, work. You must please God. But he doesn't care about his own character. He doesn't care about his own family. He doesn't care about how he think, how he say, how he walk, how he act. But as you know, the theme of Leviticus, which is the central book of Pentateuch, and then Pentateuch is the base theological book of the rest of OT, and then ENT cannot exist without OT. In this sense, Leviticus is one of the most important book. And then the theme of Leviticus is what? Be holy as I am holy. If I am child of God, I must to reflect, I must to show, even though not perfect, gradually, Christ-likeness. But how many Christians who go to the church 10 years, 20, 30 years, fail to show their Christ-likeness? Only their position is higher <laughs> in the church. And then many people are hurt by their, you know, <coughs> simple, or immature, you know, behaviors. There are uh, controversial verses, Hebrews 6, 4 to uh, 6. Some of you I know already knew, but let's uh, look at it again. Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 to 6. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 to 6. Let me read for you. It is impossible for those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, who have shared in the Holy Spirit, who have tested the goodness of the world of God and the powers of the coming age, if they fall away to be brought back to repentance, because to their lost they are crucifying the Son of God all over again and subjecting Him to public disgrace. Those who do those who are not trained uh, how to interpret the Bible, they are confused. Oh, if they read just superficially, ah, they are saved really. They are saved really. But if they commit sin continually, then God abandoned them. They interpret in this way. Is it correct? Then how we can understand? Yes, this interpretation is wrong. Once God accepts, the lost soul by his son's blood, God promised, Jesus promised, I have never ever <coughs> abandoned you. I will hold you forever. We are perfectly protected by God. Yeah. Never, he never ever abandoned us. Then how about how we can interpret this Bible? In opposite way, if those who who proclaim I'm a Christian, but continually, you know, commit sin, continually, habitually, that means he or she never have any experience, the personal relationship of Christ. So not only our students and our Filipino members, not only Filipino members, also our students, we have to understand about this one. We are sinners because we commit sins. Rather, it is also happening to me. It is very important criterion to me also. Some weeks ago, I you know, met through the phone, the medical counselor. He uh, counseled not only health you know, methodology, how I can recover my health, but also he emphasized that spiritual importance. 
<laughs> and then he said, while I was reading the Bible, finally I met Christ. And then he acted, speak like we are, you know, same uh, children of God. But while, while I was listening, I learned a lot about health issue. But while, because he emphasized for perfect body, healthy body, we need also, you know, emotional area, also spiritual area. Of course, I agree with that. But realize that he didn't meet Christ personally, only his own understanding. Because when I, when I heard so many things, I cast one question. So you said you met Christ personally, and then you do not realize how much you are a wretched person, how much a terrible person you are, how much sinners you are. Oh yeah, I am sinners. I am. Uh, he doesn't say sinner. Yeah, I feel I'm imperfect. In what area? I said. Yeah, I thought about this uh, health uh, health theory before like this, but it developed. At that time, it was not perfect. But this one, it is going to perfect. It is my imperfect. So he didn't understand the real concept of sin, and then if you grow, if you approach it to God, to the light, you feel, you realize, you are more. Wretched person. It doesn't mean you became more wretched. You, we are already wretched person, but before we realize only part of ourselves. But the more we, you know, come closer to the Lord, the more I realize how much I am. I am terrible, terrible, more terrible person. This is what the confession of Paul. Whenever he confessed, his discretion became, you know, more word, more terrible, 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 like the worst of sinner. Something like that. So this is very complicated. So we have to be get very careful, and then this is the reason why you have to study theology. And then we have to have academic training to interpret the Bible. It's very important. So what about in the last day, morning time, Pastor and I continually you know, preach on the series of Peter's book. <laughs> they have assurance of their salvation. In fact, there is no relations with Christ, and then they happily lived because no need, no need to uh, worry about their sin. Happily lived. And then finally, Jesus came, and then Jesus said, "I don't know who you are." Then what happened? Oh my goodness! So thinking these things, that things, how we can pass one day without eager prayer for myself, for our people? And also help asking help to, you know, interpret the Bible correctly. So when we share the gospel, I think our uh, students came from Asia knew better than me. How many kind of you know cults I go are going around, you know, stealing killing souls. So, yes, we have to share the gospel, but at the same time, we have to know correctly. And then, yes, we are righteous person by God's grace, but still we are sinner in state. In status, we are righteous person, but in state, we are sinner. Here, if you proclaim you are without sin, you are liar. So we have to be very careful and then wake up. Satan, when he deceives us, he does everything so that we can be continued deceived. Especially young people must be very careful. The blood is very hot. So we have to prove I am a child of God by my life. Oh, God may understand what I'm doing. There is, when we commit sin, we become extremely wise, right? Excuse, continual excuse. But God is not deceived. God is holy. Sin or any kind of uncleanness cannot comparable with the holiness. This is the so-called after grace, you know, period. In what happened in Old Testament? The holiness immediately attack and then like two sons of Aaron would kill them on the spot. And then God is patient, 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 but we, we misunderstand, just like nothing happened. But you know, so many signs teach us, 
really the final judgment, really the Jesus coming is closer and closer. And just like Pastor Nam proclaimed this morning, you know, the time of Noah, their life was continued regularly, eating, drinking, marrying. That's we don't know all of a sudden. So we have to prepare and wake up. So do you have salvation of your, uh, assurance of your salvation? Clearly? Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. If you die and I die tonight, we're going to see each other in, in his uh, final kingdom. Amen. Not because of me, but because of his blood, by his grace, by his mercy, by his promise. But of course, my stay is still immature. I still have a lot of problem in my heart. But he saved us by his blood. That's why we want to do good things willingly. That's why in this sense, work is important. Work is the result, not the methodology for our salvation. Praise the Lord and may, the, may use you for your people so that you can lead them in correct way in different people in Asia and Africa. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are sheep who is uh, many times foolish and then fail to discern what is right and wrong. But the Bible continually reminds us, wake up. Your enemy Satan crawls around you looking for somebody to devour. Lord, let us wake up spiritually. Let us uh, pray honestly. Let us uh, search the word of God honestly so that we can protect our soul as well as we can lead so many people to the right path. Lord, so many souls who are looking for the truth, who are looking for God, who are hungry for the truth, became victim, also becoming victim. And especially nowadays in Korean society, our heart is broken because so many cults are getting the power more and more because also the church failed to teach there are people about the assurance of salvation. And then even some pastors or leaders fail to, be mod fail to be good model. Oh Lord, be merciful this Korean church and also be merciful our members, nation's church. Use us for your truth, for your kingdom. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.